Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is actually inspired by another video that I saw here on YouTube. I know that a lot of you have seen those YouTube accounts that use those clickbait thumbnails and they put these really cool crafts on the thumbnails and when you watch the entire 15 minute long video, those crafts weren't even in there at all. I always get super upset, but that's pretty brilliant on their end. Anyway, I saw this in one of the thumbnails and I wanted to recreate it using Dollar Tree stuff. It isn't exactly Exactly like the one in the thumbnail but it is a really cool corner shelf to display all of your trinkets I really hope that you enjoy it and stick around by subscribing to this channel also if you're a longtime subscriber and leave comments on my channel please look out for a shout out in my videos I'll be putting shout outs randomly throughout all of my videos as a big big thank you and to let you know that I appreciate you and I see you anyway let's go ahead and get started I'm going to start off this project using these Dollar Tree wall art plaques. Now they sell these in different shapes and sizes. I am using the square large ones and you really want to make sure that all the ones you buy align perfectly because they do sell these in a much smaller size and they sell them much larger as well. As you can see this is an old one. This is just an exaggeration obviously. It's totally different but just so you see the difference in size. So I'm going to make individual shelves and I'm going to attach them with my E6000. Now I'm going to make sure that this piece is facing upright in case I want to use it to mount it to the wall. So I'm going to be adding my glue to the bottom. Now I'm going to make sure that I add a very, very generous amount of my E6000 to that bottom piece since it is going to be holding things in place. So now I'm going to position that directly onto the other plaque and I want to make sure that it is perfectly aligned so take your time when positioning this. Once it's aligned I did go ahead and add some weight to it and I just used some nail polishes that I had on hand until it set which was about 20 minutes and after that I used these clips from the Dollar Tree and I laid the shelf onto its side to make sure that it dries perfectly straight and then I clipped it in place. I did this to all of my shelves and allowed it to dry for 24 hours. No more, no less. Once it was dry, it was time to test how sturdy they were. As you can see, it's not ripping apart, which is nice, but the real test is putting some weight on top. So I did use my heavy ceramic pineapple candle to see how much weight it can hold. This thing is so heavy and it passed the test. If you're still paranoid on how much weight it will hold, you're more than welcome to add screws to the back where the two plaques attach. Now instead of attaching this like a regular shelf, you're going to want to position the second one facing in the other direction so that it can be a corner shelf. So now I'm going to add glue all along this line and after doing this I realized I really didn't need to add all of this glue because the part that I'm attaching to the top is actually hollow and you'll see that in a second. So I'm going to place my other piece right on top of that and then I'm going to clip it in place and lay it on its side. So laying it on its side is important because it's going to mimic the wall and you want to make sure that it fits nicely against your wall. So the next shelf I'm going to attach, I'm just going to add a bit of glue to the side and I'm going to position it in the same position that the first shelf was in. And this is how I'm going to build from now on. So as you can see, these are all of my shelves perfectly aligned and I'm going to let it dry. Once it is completely dry after 24 hours, I'm going to remove the clips and test how sturdy it is. And like I said, you can always add screws to where the shelves meet to make it extra sturdy. So now I'm going to take it outside and give it a coat of Krylon's Blue Ocean Breeze. And you have to make sure that you are spray painting the bottom pieces as well because you're going to be able to see this once you mount it onto your wall. By the way, if it's cold outside like it was for me, you might want to hold off on spray painting because it will eventually make your paint pucker, which really, really sucks. Really sucks. 
So I did take my time with this until everything was completely covered and now you can mount it to your wall. So unfortunately my camera shut off before I can show myself mounting it on the wall. You have so many options to mount this. You can actually drill this into the wall or use brackets that you can purchase at Home Depot. It's up to you and what you feel comfortable with, but it is rather sturdy and the more support you can add to the bottom, the better. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and until next time.